Happy Saturday, everybody. I'm your host, the guru, Pastor KZ, just popping in on today. Um, those of you who watched the video on yesterday, I introduced to you one of my many books. And a lot of you have been saying you was looking for it on Amazon. Again, you forgot the title, and it's called Time to Focus on Me. Emotional healing starts with me. Here is the book. This is the book I encouraged you to get on yesterday. But also, I would like to introduce to you another mini book, and it's called Getting Back to Me. It says, never forget, you matter. You can purchase these on Amazon. At some point, I will add these mini books that I have to the link in the description box at a later date. But again, they are workbooks for you to actually do the work. Only I can change my life. No one can do it for me. And it has also, the past cannot be changed. The future is yet in your power. So in these many books, each one will have a, a quote, and then you will have the opportunity to write your feelings. This is another way, another tool you can look, use in addition to your journaling. Because sometimes when you see what you wrote on paper and you're like, wow, this is my story. That is when you can begin to do the work. I was reading an article and the article was about a woman who is 102 years young. And she shared a little bit about her life. And I found some of it very profound, just some profound words of wisdom coming from an elder. And she said she experienced some health problems. She's had, she's a survivor and she endured losing her daughter and she experienced a divorce at the age of like 69, going into her 70s, a 46 year marriage. He decided to leave her for a younger woman, she said. So <clears throat> during this interview she was giving, she was asked, how did you do it? How did you make it this far? How are you How are you doing? You seem to be in pretty good health. You're in sound mind. What is some advice or some, some things that occurred in your life that can help another generation? And she said, don't get stuck in your pain, quote. Don't get stuck in your pain. And she also said, choose not to stay in pain and suffering. There comes a point in your life when you can no longer put pain at the forefront of your life. Hmm. She says, some things you no longer need to put your energy there. She said, energy. And that took me right back to the, first, the episode on Tuesday and Wednesday when we were talking about energy and vibration. When I saw that, I'm like, I just thank the most high God because that was confirmation that the shows all this week were needed. When she said that, there's some things you can no longer put your energy to. And she also said, everything you go through in life Use it as a lesson and find ways to move forward so you can move on. Y'all, I've been saying this since I have started this platform last August. You have got to find ways to move forward with your life and stop staying stuck and to move on. And I said on last week, I think I ended one of my videos last week by saying, sometime the lesson is for your good. I just thank I just thank God that I stumbled across this article because everything this lady said this 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 wisdom that she said it it just confirmed the things I've been saying and let me know hey Pastor Casey you on the right track with what you're talking about and she said one of the main things she said was you have to look at life as a wound y'all i had already i had already taped that episode when i found this article so i know it was the most high giving me confirmation this is her quote she said look at life sometimes as having a cut or a wound on your body 
She say, look at your arm. If you cut your arm, it begins to bleed. She said, but as long as you do nothing to help it heal and you keep just picking at the wound, it never heals. She said, you have got to stop spending your energy on something that keeps you miserable, uncomfortable, or in a place where it cannot heal. She said, there are things that go on in your life internally that no one else sees need healing. Mm, such a powerful word, powerful word. She says, you do not want to be the person who is not aware that you need to do something to heal yourself. She said, healing starts with you first saying, I want to be healed. You know what? That brought me to that scripture in the Bible when Jesus met the man and he, he says, will thou be made whole? So I'm asking you on this day, Saturday, pop in. Do you want to be healed? Do you want to get better? Do you want to start taking off the layers of these invisible scars? What do you think? Y'all have a wonderful day. I know from the emails that I received all week that the topics have you thinking. And it have you doing more journaling because you've said, I've been writing like crazy. I got a few emails and, and one guy, a man said, Pastor KZ, I wrote four pages after your video on Wednesday. So it does work. I just want to shout out all of the male subscribers and viewers I have. You men, you are really willing to do the work. I thank you so much because a lot of times with these topics, you know, a lot of female bloggers have said the men just won't watch them. They'll watch it if you're talking about pop culture or sports or something else. But when it comes to talking about their emotions, the men just check out. But you know what? I thank you male subscribers because y'all really support this channel as well and thank you all all of you subscribers because obviously it's forcing you to a place now of doing some work on yourself thank you again for watching y'all go out and do something fun today it's it's a beautiful may so enjoy your day and also start enjoying your life y'all don't take life for granted little things mean a lot and you matter Love on yourself. Speak over yourself. Don't wait for somebody else to pour into you. Pour into yourself. Because you know what? As I stated on Tuesday and Wednesday, sometimes the energy that you're giving out causes certain things to manifest or not manifest. All of the love that you're showing and outpouring of stuff you're pouring into other people, take some time and pour into yourself. Love on you. Don't forget, get focused if you're not. Bring your life into balance. Be a blessing to someone else. And never forget, continue to walk in favor. That's my mantra, y'all. I walk in favor. I look for, for doors to be open for me. I speak life over me. And it manifests, y'all. He will open doors for you that no man can shut. Go and do you. Find your peace. Find your energy. And let's heal up some of these wounds. Y'all be blessed and have a wonderful Saturday.